ready with my perfect outfit the guitar player from the band uh, echoes of mercy right yeah so i started my journey back in the early hours of 28th may as you can see i'm very excited and pumped up heading towards the airport final destination Manipur Shri Rock Festival 2022 So it was a very quick uh, sudden decision of mine to make a vlog I was not prepared at all for the travel or for the vlog and samay bhi zyada nahi tha time was a uh, little less So I took a bag with a couple of clothes inside and a tripod stand for recording uh, as I was not planning to stay for more than one day so I thought at that point it was enough <laughs> What's in there? What's in there? Hmm, as you can see, no smoking, spitting. Yes, that's my flight. 5:30 on time. So, just reach airport and uh, gonna have to wait. Oh, I feel like having this one right now. You see the sky? big guy Jenny Wacker get some food Pretty intense as you can see the crowds are filling up This is the place where I'm staying right now. As you can see, you cannot complain this. Literally, see the view. As you can see I'm pretty ready with my perfect outfit. Yeah. So, see you at the venue. I'm heading towards the venue right now to catch Monument's live. See you guys, it's a pretty big festival over here. There are a lot of stores. That's the main stage. Then we have uh, a lot of military people over here <laughs> guarding because of monuments and all that. It's a pretty big place, as you can see. And this is where the main venue is. It's dark out here, as you can see. I 
They'll be headlining tonight, and uh, as a production at least,
the third position, the second runners up will be awarded with two lakhs fifty thousand rupees. Six individuals, six outstanding individuals will be awarded with twenty-five thousand each. Are we at twenty zero twenty twenty-two?
a little bit about she rock i would like to uh talk about uh, I, i believe a lot of people are not aware of it so it's an annual international rock festival of manipur and it is also exclusive to the shiri lili festival so shiri lili is basically it's an endangered flower okay that is local to that area of the manipur and it has a lot of thing attached to the local people who lives over there so you can go and find it out on the website and these all uh, you know like the band competitions and the you know different artists performing uh international acts all these things are organized by the tourism department and supported by the government of manipur which is a pretty good thing okay now what happens every year you can find uh, there are a lot of artists performing on a specific day you will get to uh, see it from the website uh, they have specific times uh, you know these day these number of artists are playing and all that so you can or get to see the band competitions and the prize uh, pool and everything whatever is there apart from that as i mentioned they also invite international acts this year it happened to be monuments and uh, from uk yeah so i believe this is a fantastic place uh, to be you know the scenery is awesome as you can see already uh, from my video and uh, if you happen to mix the two which is uh, the scenery along with the music you know rock if you are a rock fan and definitely this will be uh a, 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 you know a worthwhile experience for anybody i i can i can definitely uh, say that here are some glimpses of the festival from youtube So here I am meeting uh, the guitar player from the band uh, Echoes of Mercy, right? Yeah. And we have a nice cool print of this t-shirt as you can see he's wearing. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic. I love the print, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a fan, a fan made. It's a fan made? Yeah. Okay. So, um, you know guys, just to let you know that uh, they are a prominent uh, band from Manipur. Yeah. And Correct. from Chesanpur. Yeah. And uh, in the rock and metal scene and do definitely, you know, check them out. I'll put the description over here and uh, make sure you follow uh, their pages and uh, my pages as well <laughs> and uh, never forget to like share and subscribe that's it yeah yeah awesome cool thank you man yeah thanks so, so um we'll be boarding the bus again right and yeah yeah i'll leave. come back i guess we'll have some food as well so yeah yeah cool okay. cool thank you man so that was a quick chat you see these guys are pretty cool right it's a lot of fun man meet musicians from different state yeah that's the best thing about you know going to a place where you get to meet a lot of different people and musicians back at the airport to catch a flight
right, guys. So if you have made so far till this part of the video, I really appreciate. I cannot thank you enough. It means it shows that you guys really enjoyed the content of the video, and you can you know like share your love and affection. If you just click on the like button, and subscribe to my channel, it helps me grow the channel, and uh, I'll definitely bring out more content. All right. So um, as you guys know already, that why I went for the show the she rock festival was because of monuments and if you guys don't know who they are monuments they are a progressive heavy metal band from united kingdom you can go and check it out uh, their latest album release in stasis 2022 it was a fantastic album and they're one of the best band <laughs> this planet has to offer i can definitely say that all right coming to the number two point uh, so what are the things what are the key takes from this video uh, first of all, good music, good bands. Uh, I cannot definitely remember all the names of the bands, but the names I can remember. Uh, GMP the band, fantastic guys. They are one of the best band I've seen. Uh, there are bands like Echoes of Mercy. Again, damn good band, fantastic. Then we have uh, The Prophets. What to say, man? They are like they are like definitely one of the best musicians out there I've seen. And uh, you know what? Um, what I feel that why you should guys go to Shirok and festival like this is because uh, it's one thing you know listening to music um, at your home, staying at your home uh, in MP3 in your car when you're going somewhere. That is fine, but uh, you know definitely there is a huge difference when you're watching musicians live, playing the effort, the energy, uh, all that thing matters. It, it creates a specific environment, and especially hear me out, and especially when you are in a place like Ukrul. When you're a place like in Manipur, what? Why is that? Because uh, it's not your typical everyday place. Like you know, we uh, live in cities. Uh, we go to bar. We we go to you know clubs. We see bands performing, which is absolutely fine. Nothing wrong with that. I love to go to places like that. But when you go to a place where it's filled with you know uh, mountains and hills, and the climate is fantastic, and on the top of uh, top of the hill you are having uh, these rock and heavy metal uh, bands performing, and, you know, with full energy. And that is something really, you know, that is a little pumped up. And, uh, you know, in the entire valley, the people are enjoying uh, the music that you're listening. Wow, that is something different. That is something fantastic, you know. So if you haven't tried that out, uh, if you are a music learner, if you are not a music learner, if you haven't been to such a place, please consider putting She Rock Festival into your bucket list of trouble because definitely you won't be disappointed okay to why i think you should visit shirok is because um man the people are fantastic <laughs> to be very honest i cannot say enough on this point you should guys go and you know check it out by yourself it doesn't matter whether you're coming in uh, from india or you're coming from abroad uh, you're gonna like they're just gonna greet you so well man they are so friendly and uh, one more thing is I, I really enjoy the food the local food it's very different it's not something that I usually you know like uh, for me uh, like to be very honest uh, I'm a person who likes to try different uh, foods from different cultures so for me everything is if I get anything new that that is something you know worthwhile I really like to explore so yeah if you guys and are into those kind of stuff definitely I know a lot of people likes different trying out different kind of foods so yeah that is also a benefit for you guys and um, uh, last but not least uh, if you're planning to visit Ukrul um, if you are planning to you can visit definitely at any time of the year doesn't matter or if you happen to visit during the Shirok festival you can go and check it out on the website shirok.in uh, anyway, so what I was saying is, uh, I have my friends. Uh, they are called as Come to Life. I will put their, you know, Instagram handle in the description. Uh, somewhere on the screen, you can also uh, figure it out and just get in touch with them because they will help to, uh, you know, uh, get some accommodations and uh, they will help you out with anything else that you need. All right, so go and follow them, like their page. Uh, definitely don't forget to like my page and uh, definitely uh, go and check out different artists that I mentioned. Okay, all right, so that's it. Thank you so much. Back again. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, all right, guys. I just wanted to uh, share that we did a cover of a song called as Feast of Fire. Feast of Fire by Trivium. Um, I don't know if you guys, if you guys know who they are. Trivium is a heavy metal band from 
United States of America. And uh, all of you who are Trivium fans, uh, do let me know what you guys think about the cover. Uh, I play the guitar. My friend Tanunja, he's a kick-ass bass guitar player. And my friend Kidor. Yeah, he's a very good singer. Uh, so you guys let me know what you guys think about uh, the cover. Uh, you can find the video somewhere in the screen. That's it. Sayonara.